It's summer school time in Edmonton, and for once, these students are actually happy about it. It was a little bit of an odd year going back and forth online and in school, so I thought this would kind of be a good opportunity to kind of do better in the class. I walked into class, saw a couple of my old friends. I instantly got way more comfortable. After a year of juggling in person and online classes, these kids and their teacher are relieved to be back in a classroom every day. And you feel like the information sinks in more. Uh, you're making that connection. Uh, I feel like they get more out of the, you know, the course. A year of only sporadic classroom learning has made summer schools surprisingly popular in Winnipeg too. Last year the numbers were a bit lower. I think people were a little more hesitant and a little more cautious about going to in-person classes. But this year our numbers have just jumped right back up to where we were pretty much pre-pandemic. But in many other places in Canada, summer school is still virtual. A big disappointment, particularly to students and parents who felt that online schooling is what led to disengagement and lower grades in the first place. That's what happened to Nathan Peretz, who couldn't pass grade 7 without boosting his math mark through summer school. But that was, once again, virtual. Well, it was, it was a hard blow, I'm not going to lie, but it's, it just seems like it's a never-ending cycle of looking at a screen, um, looking at uh, a teacher talking to you virtually. Other families turn to tutors who can't promise socialization but can offer one-on-one -on -one help. They will benefit from having that ongoing practice and um, just keeping their brains stimulated and keeping their brains active so that when it comes time to go back to school, um, you know, it's not so much of a shock for them. All in hopes that by September at least some of these kids can catch up and that learning in the company of friends will be back for good. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.